It's a big weekend for beer lovers as Oktoberfest kicks off today. And you don't even have to buy a plane ticket to Munich to enjoy the fun. Storyteller Erin Valley here. She visited Riggs Beer Company as they are prepping for their very own Oktoberfest. You know, and the Riggs family has such strong ties to Germany. So I can tell you right now, their Oktoberfest beer is pretty legitimate, but the one thing that's even more legitimate than their beer is their party. Here's what you can expect this weekend at Riggs. I'm a pro. Ein Prosit der Gemütlichkeit. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit der Gemütlichkeit. Prost! Everybody, it is finally here. If you're a beer lover, I have to say, this feels better than Christmas because Oktoberfest kicks off today at Riggs Beer Company. Let's just start with what beer can we drink this weekend? Okay, so the reason for the season, in this case, is our Oktoberfest beer. Um, we release it today at 3 o'clock out here at the brewery. Um, today's our kind of the biggest day of the whole launch weekend. Um, we'll have German food catered in this evening. Uh, we've got live German music from 5 to 7 p.m. tonight. So come on out. And, and of course, most importantly, one liter Moss Kruger of Oktoberfest. Those are the big glasses. It's practically an accessory that you can also drink out of. Yeah, you look you look cooler if you've got one of those. It's like a part of the uh, the whole costume. The accoutrement here is is the one liter Moss belongs with it. Yeah. Okay, and I want to ask you about attire. You're rocking the hat. You got your leader hosen on. You can expect to see this if you come this weekend, right? That's right. We are not the only crazy people who wear German clothes for the weekend. You'd be surprised how many people in Champaign Urbana area have one of these in their closet somewhere that they're waiting for a reason to put it on and wear it out. And I'd recommend anyone go on Amazon, Amazon Prime their outfit, because it's really important to have. Yeah, our bartenders are also going to be outfitted. So the entire rig staff, uh, you won't be the only one. At, the, at least the entire rig staff will also be, uh, you know, matching your spirit. And you know what will make you feel even more spirited? Knowing that the Riggs family hired this guy to build this authentic German hut. Hello, my name is Jon Rischau, and I'm a designer and entrepreneur from Champaign Urbana. I'm originally from Germany, and I'm working together with the Riggs family on building seven authentic German Christmas huts. We have the first hut here, which is used for Oktoberfest to serve beer and delicious goodies out of. Matt, you went to German brewing school. You went to brewing school out in California. Let's talk about how that culture influenced you in your decision to bring in Oktoberfest this weekend and what's what's authentic about it? You guys seem like you really strive to make it as authentic as possible. Well, yeah, so I went to brewing school in Munich, lived in Munich, um, used to ride my bicycle to Oktoberfest um, and fell in love with the culture. Um, obviously fell in love with my wife, uh, who, who is German, um, but the culture was uh, something that was I found irresistible as a beer lover. Gemütlichkeit, the German have a word for it, just like the, the happiness. Um, I don't know if that's a direct translation. It, I don't think it translates directly, but just beer being part of that. And you're two brothers, and you guys have, I mean, this is your life, right? I mean, you've put everything into this amazing beer company. And I feel like this weekend's kind of a reflection on not only your business, but what you want people to get out of this experience. We just kind of talk a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. And part of that, part of what our brewery is tied to is our family farm. And uh, it goes back to 1874. Um, and actually, our great great grandparents that founded the farm uh, immigrated here from Germany. So, um, you know, that kind of adds that extra family tie into the German connection, into the farm connection, into the brewery connection there. So, um, um, that's that's part of what makes this weekend so special. And guess what? The party is already underway at Riggs. You can swing by right now and try that delicious Oktoberfest beer. They said it's a great batch. I'll connect you to the full schedule online at TV. I'm sure there's a logical explanation to this, but it has always confused me why Oktoberfest is in September. That was like the first question I asked when I showed up. So the festival's actually based 
around like a century ago when there was this big royal wedding and the party was so awesome that they decided to continue on with the celebration during that time year after year. So it's based around when the wedding was, not necessarily October. So the wedding happened huh. in October, but they're celebrating in September. Could they have called it November Fest? <laughs> I, okay. I don't know. I don't know that that cleared anything up, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. I <laughs> cannot wait to see you in a Drendel again. You know, they're very flattering. I kind of want to put super, it back on. Super cute. I'm not it's wearing so later cute. Are I'm we, just telling you right maybe, now. Maybe we're tailing our Halloween costume. I, I'm oh. fairly certain we are not. I do know, however, you know that you have a... cute calves? Stop talking. I, I Please stop talking. Cute calves.